Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great. And welcome back to your daily updates on Dogecoin. All right. Um, we'll do a full update on Dogecoin. In general, I think the market structure and the price structure for Dogecoin hasn't really changed since the video yesterday. Uh, so if you still remember that video completely, then I don't think that there's much added value in watching this video. But um, but that's up to you, of course, and um, and I'll still give you a full update. It's it's not like I I will not, I will skip over some some important factors and, and important facts that you need to know. Um, but if you look at Dogecoin right now, if if we're just being honest, I mean Dogecoin, I would say technically it's bullish. I don't think that's a hot take. I think it's quite. I mean you can see the EMAs right here are still slightly moving up. We're still like on the short term. You could argue that we're making lower highs, but I don't think these will be respected or at least this downtrend will be respected and what i do think will be respected and what we have already seen um is this uptrend so we're also making higher uh, higher higher lows right here which technically makes dogecoin bullish now what's true though is that even though technically we are bullish um the success of dogecoin depends on one thing and that's bitcoin all right so obviously if elon musk does something with x uh, regarding payments or if he uh, says something about Dogecoin, sure, that will help. Um, but the correlation between Dogecoin and Bitcoin right now is, is 0 0.9, all right? Which means that for 90% of the move moves, kind of at least it works like this, but but in general, it's, it's good to see it like this. Um, for 90% of the moves, Dogecoin and Bitcoin just move similarly. So what that means is that, especially if you look at Dogecoin right now, which does not have that much uh, momentum, like the open interest uh, is not re rallying, which if, if, the, if the open interest is rallying, then we can actually get a bullish breakout on our own. But what you see, and that's, uh, and, and that's the truth, and that's the situation for a lot of altcoins right now in the market. Uh, but what you see is that a lot of uh, altcoins like Dogecoin don't have momentum of their own. So we're waiting for some sort of, a, uh, some sort of an important move from Bitcoin. Um, and that's also, it's, it's, you can also see the correlation on the chart. I mean, the main resistance level for Dogecoin is this level around 20 and a half cents. If you follow the technical structure, what, what would be most likely is that we will hold this, uh, th this um, kind of ascending, uh, ascending triangle. And eventually we will break out and rally back up to 22 and a half cents and potentially to that next, uh, next level around 25 cents. Purely technically, this is most likely. But realistically, it depends on Bitcoin, all right? And I do think that if you look at Bitcoin right now, the situation is quite quite difficult, quite weird right now because of the halving and the volume is also getting quite low. So then you get some, some weird volatility. Um, but overall, if you look at Bitcoin, also the technical structure, which I trust a bit more than the technical structure for Dogecoin and the open interest, uh, Bitcoin is 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 gaining some real momentum, right? Even though altcoins cannot really feel it yet, I do think a bullish breakout for Bitcoin is still the most likely scenario right now. Um, it's not guaranteed, but it is most likely. And that means that a bullish breakout for Dogecoin, which it helps that it's also in line with the technical structure, is also most likely. Um, but like I said, with the, it's not guaranteed. The market circumstances are just a bit weird right now, right? Even if you look at Dogecoin, and I, I did not look this up, um, but if you look at Dogecoin, like the, the volume is down 20%, even though it's not the weekend yet, um, which is which is just a sign that we can get some volatility. So sure, I think it's most likely that Dogecoin will break out and rally up higher. Uh, but if you want to enter this, I would wait for the breakout. All right. Otherwise, I mean, then you have your confirmation and then we can be a little bit more sure and a little bit more certain that we actually rally. Otherwise, it's it's just too risky for me. Um, for example, if Bitcoin really starts falling down and Dogecoin drops down below 18.5, we have lost all the bullish momentum we had. But those are my thoughts. That's what I think you need to know for now. If you do have any questions, of course, let me know down in the comments. Uh, but for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.